Um, okay, welcome back to Marauders TV uh, Players Interview episode four. Uh, it's me, Tom Wadsley, and Tony Moore. And today we're joined by Gabe Huddleston. Welcome, Gabe. Um, Hello. Uh, following on the same format, we're just going to introduce Gabe to the wider world for those of you that might not know him um, and whoever he's just shied away from uh, behind him. Um, and uh, and yeah, we'll um, get to know a little bit more about Gabe and you'll you'll no doubt see him on upcoming shows and then when we do some event specific things and, and other things like that. So I'll pass over to Tony. Yeah, no, thanks Tom. So um, I guess you know, this, is, this is, should be reasonably familiar uh, for any of you have watched the others. So we start off, uh, so who's Gabe? Who's Gabe? Um, hi, I'm Gabe. Um, <laughs> uh, some people might know me from like the UK tournament scene, I suppose. Um, I've been to quite a few over the last couple of years. Um, I'm a local gamer to the Marauders. I'm quite a new addition, I suppose, though not as not as long as you guys. Um, Certainly making up for it at events, well, though, aren't you? Doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as, <clears throat> as, as soon as I went to my first, I just got the bug. To be honest, <laughs> my, my first one was in 2018, okay. and uh, I, yeah, yeah, I came, I came joint last. Sort of like second to last, uh, lost every game, but really enjoyed it. And I've been to, uh, been to, I don't know, God, I can't remember how many, about 15 <laughs> since or something like that. Yeah, Consi yeah. That's not bad considering we've not played for 18 months. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. But, um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the miles in, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's basically been me and I've, I've taken on Niger's role as uh, your wingman. I like to think uh, I've already taken his uh, sabbatical. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my mistress for my mistress when she's away. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, and obviously, you, you know, you said they, you sort of started in 2018, but that's not the start of your journey. So, how did you start gaming overall? Well, um, I uh, started gaming when I was about seven or eight, because my older brother uh, went to Warhammer stuff, basically. Not really not really Warhammer Fantasy or 40k. It was mainly uh, Necromunda, basically, when that first came out. And I was sort of uh, being the little brother. I'm about, uh, about six, seven years old, uh, younger than those two. So I was roped in to play that, and I was always given, always given uh, Goliath. The, the big the big stupid ones I suppose that's, that's the way they always deemed it <laughs> and then when when we did get around to playing Warhammer Fantasy like actually getting the odd little armies uh, I was always giving uh, the, the, the dumb brute ones again the, uh, the Orcs and Goblins so well, uh, yeah, that's great <laughs> form formative years then <laughs> exactly yeah so but um, they, they they grew up and I, I, I still kept on the hobby up until I was about until I was, until I was in my teenage years, but I um, I got uh, another marauder who I doubt, doubt he'll come on the show, but it's Toby. I got him into the into the hobby, to be honest. But first, first with Necromunda, and then then other things, and he's been in it ever since. Just been yeah. in every little every different game system, and right up until I was until the, I stopped when I was about fifteen, something like that, having the break that a lot of a lot of other gamers have. I think the last thing I had uh, before the break was uh, I had a massive um, Lord of Rings collection that uh, my dad happened to bin uh, when I moved out <laughs> without letting me know. And um, but uh, I got back into gaming and Warhammer in general about 2015, 16. I um, uh, Toby again. They got me to uh, to play Zombie Side and. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and considering how, how simple it was, and just yeah, I started painting the models, but I also knew how much of a, an effort it was, and cost-wise to get all the paint, the models in general, and I had uh, a very young family, still have, still do, but uh, babies back then, and it was a bit of a distraction with, with having a young family and whatnot. So I, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, and then. He tried to get me into Age of Sigmar because it had swapped over a year or two before, and he said, "He said, oh, you should, you should pick up your orcs and goblins again, basically, which, which is effectively Iron Jaws." Mm. And he convinced me to buy a um, our collecting box, and that just uh, I think I half built it, or maybe built a gore grunter, and it sat in a cupboard for about a year. <laughs> and then he then he, he press ganged me again and went, "No, no, no, come on, we need, need, need to have a go at this." And I, I had a, had a had a demo game with him and. 
Oh, this seems simple. This seems quite quite cool and quite easy to remember because I, I always loved fantasy, especially over over forty k. Yeah. But um, wasn't wasn't massive on the rules. I think it was. It might have been like sixth edition or something when I actually played Warhammer Fantasy, like a Stockport Games Workshop or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the the Age of Sigmar game, and I was that was the first edition. But that that actually provoked me into actually painting my models, collecting more. Ended up collecting an over two thousand point uh, Iron Jaws army, and I think I took it to like a Christmas one day for the Marauders. Okay. Basically, probably one of the first times I met. A bunch of you guys uh, mm. and I, I lost all three games but i still enjoyed it i didn't really know how to play the game but um uh i think just after that i got into leans of nagash because i always liked the the undead when i was younger um like the proper proper vampire count uh, mm. so i started collecting them over like 2018 and then second edition drop and oh yeah i'm proper into this i'll, I'll, I'll get an army and i'll go and i'll go to those uh, those eggs at, at the Northwest mm-hmm. Gaming Centre. Yeah. So I got a ticket. A bunch of you guys were already going anyway. And uh, I went there, quite nervous, quite nervous, but met some really good guys. Met, uh, ended up playing Terry Pike in that in that weekend. Ended up oh, playing yeah. uh, Matt Robertson. <laughs> and um, I played uh, Paul Haley. Paul Haley, who's okay. uh, I consider my, my, war, my Warhammer dad. Because he, <laughs> he told me, stop rolling those shit dice, get better ones, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I didn't I didn't take a very uh, optimal list, but um, hmm. ended up losing all my games. But I learned I learned a lot. <laughs> learned yeah, a lot. absolutely. I think so. um, yeah, that, that leads us quite nicely onto the next question, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so, what kind of gamer are you? What kind of gamer. I am. Uh, I, I hear people bandy around the term of like. Uh, what is it? The the, the psychographic uh, Timmy Spike Johnny. Oh, the, the Amanda, they I've... use it for Magic the Gathering quite a bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, people uh, bandy that around. And I, I'm not. Re- I'm a bit. I think I'm a mix of a, of a couple of them. But I'm mainly, I'm mainly a, a Timmy. I like to. I like to experience something in a game. Even though I am competitive. Yeah. I do like to. I do like to see things happen on the table, mm. and I like to uh, actually think things out and take take models off the table i suppose i think i think i listened to a face hammer podcast once where he talked about uh, brian carmichael uh, where he, he, his strategy was um he would uh, he'd basically take your models off the table and score the objectives at the end i quite like that yeah, similar to how i played with <laughs> well, I like part, like, in glory you know if they can't exactly. have objectives, they've got no models left exactly exactly <laughs> so a lot of my armies a lot of them will be elite i don't really like pushing <clears> around Massive amounts of models and rolling shed loads of dice to do nothing. So yeah, that's, yeah so I got quite. Uh, um, people might know me from playing or, or at War Tom, so I've quite I've had a bit of success with them. Yeah, so was probably, similar with probably my jam. I'm my favourite. Similar with your death, wasn't it? Because you played very monster heavy, like Palaquin, Double yeah. Dragon, and, and things like Never that. Out yeah, yeah, that was, that was a really fun list, really fun yeah. list. But it wasn't. It was. I didn't play in a generic death then. So to speak, that's what I liked about it. It was really fast and really hard hitting. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, it's similar to that. That's, 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 that's the way. That's more my place I would be. I'd say. Um, that's cool. Cool. Um, so, so we, we're obviously in the closing days of AOS two. It's <laughs> pretty much been your Warhammer journey in this uh, this period of time in say in the Orange. Uh, but what are you looking forward to as we move into AOS three? Coherence. Um, coherence. Yeah. That was my answer. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am. I, I have. I have a lot of faith, a lot of trust that it will all come out in the wash before <clears> these. Uh, before these drip grabbing leaks and whatnot. Um, I just hope that my my models are usable, basically, and that they they will still have a role, and. I mean, I, I don't think the game. Will ever, I don't think you want the game to be ever like a level playing field with all armies. But I want, I want still, to, still want to be able to use my armies. I've quite a few now, yeah. So it, it shouldn't affect me too much. But um, yeah, just so I can actually play games, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it'll be, be big changes. But I think, I think big changes in my head, considering what things we've seen so far. But um, 
yeah, I think we get used to it, and yeah. it will be good in the end. I have a lot of trust in what people have said so far. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. And we obviously all three of us on here. We're at the uh, carnage, aren't we? The end of July, August weekend. So that'll be our first proper run out. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Other than maybe a one day thing as a club. Yeah, yeah, maybe if we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if, I think between. I think between A of S free dropping and, and that, I'll just be cramming as many games as I can to try and learn the the new rules and whatnot. And I've tried to obviously build an army. But I think it all comes down to the last piece of the puzzle for me. I mean, obviously, you need to see the entire rules, but it's the point. You need to see what your armies are like, so, which is a big thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, cool. Well, uh, I think we'll wrap up there for, for this little segment and uh, as I say probably be worth us when we, we we move towards that event as getting together and start talking about what we're doing and why etc etc so uh, that'll be good but uh, thanks for joining us Gabe yeah cheers Gabe no worries no worries lads alright <laughs> see you in a bit see you later cheers all